Hot for Day. Again, my name is Chris Pijano, and we're going to demonstrate how to make a traditional uh, tamales guiso, which is the, the red uh, polenta with the achotti, and also the white uh, polenta, the cornmeal. And we're going to wrap that in some, uh, uh, with the banana leaf on the bottom, and wrapped in foil and some uh, bacon on top. So Joffrey's going to start off, uh, first putting in some, some oil in a, in a hot pot. Is that a very hot pot? Very hot pot. Be careful. And then onions and garlic, we're all going to go in. All right. So and you know, there's different right. variations of uh, tomatoes gisu. Everybody, every auntie has their own uh, secret weapons. So this is about two and a half cups of water. Two and a half cups of water going into the pot and the onion and garlic. And then we're just going to bring that to a boil. Put the cover on. All right, in the meantime, while we're waiting for the water to boil, we're gonna take the one cup of uh, polenta and go ahead and put that in there, John. That's one cup of polenta going into a mixing bowl. Yeah, and then we're gonna put uh, one and a half cups of water. Add this one and a half cups of water yeah. to the polenta. And then just take a spatula and just kind of mix that up nicely, just until it's pretty much all dissolved and loosened up. All right. If you don't do this process, then it's gonna clump up. Half of it stirring at the same yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, And then let, let, it, let it sit, uh -huh. stir that in for a bit. Yeah. Stir that in, let it mix in. Just like you're doing polenta, just like a regular cornmeal. Now once that's about almost thick, we'll add some salt and pepper in there, job. Put that whole thing about, uh, about two, table, two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of salt. Yeah, two teaspoons okay. of salt. It's gotta have some olive flavor in there. Uh -huh. And then also about a teaspoon and a half of black pepper. Put that whole thing in there. Oh yeah, starting to mix up now, huh? All right, looking good. That mixture there is about a quarter cup of each, cornstarch and cream of uh, wheat. And then about a cup of water. Just one cup of water. One cup of water. And then just mix that up nicely again, just to get all that cups out of there. We're gonna wanna put that in um, slowly, and then you know mix it at a time. Same thing, same method we did with the uh, cornmeal. So half at a time. Okay, so I'm just gonna add half and mix at the same time. There you go, mix that all in. It'll start to even get a little more thick. So then what we'll do before um, we add the last uh, mixture is put in, of course, some Denancy. And you know, you could, again, if you want it hot, you can put a lot. If you want it a little bit mild, then you can just put a little bit. I'd probably put that whole uh, little dollop there. I would too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it too hot, but I like it. I like to be able to taste the flavor. Yeah, a little flavor in there. Huh? And also just to feel the heat, just a touch. Now the last, of course, is uh, the choti, choti water. And this is, of course, uh, water that's been uh, soaking in the choti seeds, and we've already strained that out. Just go ahead and pour a couple, couple yeah, of those spoonfuls, maybe about four. I want to make it too dark. Yeah, not too dark. Yeah. Three, yeah. yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mix that up. Oh yeah, looking good, huh? Looking good. Alright. Okay. So I mean pretty much that's the, the process, uh, the steps involved with making the red part of the tamales gisu. Um, making the white part is pretty much the same, except of course you don't add the denancy and you don't add the achotti. Now, since we have the mixture, we've already got some red here, and we've also got some white that we already had, uh, had made. So the, the next part is the fun part, where we've got to um, roll maybe 100, 200, depending on how much. Okay. Well, that's a good healthy yeah. size. Yeah, nice healthy size there. I don't know if this is going to go on the fiesta table. <laughs> All right. Okay, and then of course, depending on what you want, a lot of folks put um, whole bacon on top that's been uh, partially cooked. But I'm going to put some bacon bits, so some, uh, just some uh, bacon pieces up on top. There's a trick to this where you're going to want to fold it over, equal parts. Oops. All right. Okay. Pinch the top. All right. You're going to use your palm to kind of fold it down. All right. We're going to fold that down all the way. Okay. Close it and push down both ends. And at each end, you want to want to push that up. Okay. Kind of pack it yeah, in there. pack it in there. 
and just roll that up just like that. The other end, same thing. You're gonna wanna fold that up, pack that in, and just fold that up just like that. Okay, pretty much, and that's what you've got with the tomato ski soup. And we have some already made also steamed, and we'll open that up for you guys. Monastery soup. <laughs> Let's try it out though. See how it is. That's good. That's good. Super hot. Super hot. Very nice shot. Happy Fiesta Fridays. Happy from, Fiesta Friday. From Pearl Restaurant and Sweet Relief Pastry Shop. Crispy Auto. Chopping Paris. Adios. Mm -hmm.